How Do You Paint? with me, your host, Kate White. This is our second live hour of How Do You Paint? The first, I don't know, probably not very many of you, nobody's here yet. Oh, hang on, we're telling more followers to join your video. Wow, I'm talking to no one, whoa. I'm talking to no one. Should I wait for people to come? I'm talking to no one. Okay, there's one person. I don't know if I should just start talking as if there are people already here, even though there's not, because it's live, or if I should just, because I'm talking to no one right now, I'm, except for you, J for John. See, now I'm finally understanding your Instagram handle, now that I said out loud. John, yo, for taste. Hi. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend like there's people here and do my show, even though, hi, even though there's no one here, which is really weird, but, okay, Kate, get out of your head. Welcome. Oh, there's Jaina. Hi, Jaina. So I, I was just like, do I start talking even though there's no one here? That Then I'm talking to no one because it's live. So I'm just talking to you two. You two. You, the two of you. So this is a show just for the two of you right now. But ah, I'm going to pretend that there are, I'm going to pretend that there's a lot more people here than there are and that, hi Alex, hi Stephanie. <sighs> I still, I'm so confused. I don't know if I should wait for more people to come. I don't think so. Because I'm going to repost this at some point when I figure out how and people will get to see it. So I'm not going to spend a bunch of time waiting for people to join. I'm starting whether or not anyone is here. So, let's begin again. Hey, yeah. Uh, welcome to episode two, live episode two of How Do You Paint with me, Kate White. So, wow, man, improvisation is really something. It is like painting, isn't it? You don't know what the hell is going to happen. You just have to keep moving. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, we are returning to my version of Manet's Olympia. Most of you people, if you're art people, probably know about this painting. If you're not art people, it's a famous painting. Hmm. I'm not going to explain it. This is not an art history lesson. This is a painting lesson. So, I'm undoing my version of Manet's Olympia. And since my last show... Uh, where I painted uh, the beginnings of this painting. I worked on it a little bit behind your backs uh, by myself, not on the spot. And I painted her girlfriend, but in the old version, it's her maid. In my updated version, it's her girlfriend, we're going to assume, domestic partner, at least, life partner. I don't know how long it'll last because Olympia is not paying attention to her girlfriend. And I worked a bunch on the girlfriend and uh, you can kind of see. I decided she's carrying a laundry basket. Hi, I'm seeing who's here. Hi, big beaver. I don't know if you're a person I know or what, but hi. Okay. Um, ew. some, okay. Anyway, so today I thought what I would try to do is paint the woman, Olympia herself, but I'm really agonizing over how badly I painted her last time. I kind of want to see if I can show you up close. So let's see if this works. I'm going to try to do this. Okay. 
because I don't have a cameraman yet. Camera person! Come on, Kate, it's 20, eight, 19. I don't have a camera person yet, so I'm doing it myself. Oh, oh, how do I do that? Oh, I have to switch it. Here we go. So, yeah, look at how horrible her body looks. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but my issues with proportion and, like, really came up for me in this. Um... So, my new rule, though, is to not repaint things, not repaint, like, I, the way I paint, I would have to, like, redo this whole cool background I did with the rollers in order to repaint her body, because I like to do a whole cool background, paint some stuff on top, let some of the cool background show through, and, yeah, I'd have, basically have to start over. I don't know... <laughs> So, yeah, I think that her body is going to be really deformed. And rules rule. So true. If you make them up yourself. Right? Am I right? Um, Self-imposed rules rule unless... And let, that's not always true, see? Um, you can make rules for yourself that you make in order to compensate from feelings of worthlessness, for instance, and you make rules to compensate for that, and then all you do is increase your feelings of worthlessness as you follow the rules to fix your feelings of to, to, because you're worthless. Follow? Yeah, I should be a psychologist, huh? Anyway, back to painting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to let Olympia's body be really deformed. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid of a lot, but I guess my fears for the painting are one that she, it will be distracting people will be like why is she so messed up looking why is her body so deformed and her girlfriend's body is kind of deformed because i don't know how to paint proportionally very well but why is her body so deformed but hey you know what let people make meaning out of that I'm sure that there's all kinds of meaning people can make out of me making the maid not deformed and Olympia deformed. Not the maid. It's 2019, the girlfriend. Let's get to painting. The drama of outlines. Ugh, deep, deep Alex. So, what I'm going to do, what I got to do, oh, sh I, there's a lot of, painting is sort of, not the way I paint, the way I paint is not that improvisational, I build it, and, but not very well, it's like building a house, I just thought of a great analogy, it's like building a house with no um, actual, like, engineered architectural plans, it's like building a house with an idea of how you're gonna, what kind of house it's gonna be and where the rooms are, but you don't actually measure anything first. That is how I make a painting. <laughs> so, there's a lot of, what's it called? Gerrymandering? No, sort of the J, Jerry rigging. So, this painting, the colors, right? It's like off, off Christmas colors. It's like red and green. You can't see, you can't see shit on that thing, can you? Anyway, I gotta do sort of a red and green thing. And on the girlfriend's side, it's gonna be green. And on the side, it's gonna be red. Just like in the painting. So people will be like, oh yeah, she did the same thing. 
And I'm also showing the disconnection between them because um, Olympia is going to be holding a remote control. And in my drawing I did, I have her girlfriend saying, honey, would you please turn that off? We haven't talked all day. And Olympia is saying, yeah, just a minute, the game's almost over. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put those actual words in the painting because I'm hoping maybe that their facial expressions and all of that might communicate a similar uh, dynamic. And the other thing is, people will project their own issues onto it and it will be meaningful to them. So I don't wanna overdo the language and hem people in to one meaning, right? Doesn't that make sense? Or is it just a funny, is it, or is it a funny joke? I'm not sure, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, the bridge we're at right now, as you can see, I'm, I, I am doing what I do, which is procrastinate actually picking up the paintbrush because it's terrifying every time. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, right, right. I'm showing the disconnection between them by making the backgrounds a different color as it is in the original. And then, this was my big revelation I had yesterday, this, this really weird like neon line down between the two of them. I don't even know what that is but I'm gonna do a, um, like a split screen, like, like they're talking on the phone from far, far away because they are far away from each other. I don't know if, you know, Olympia is emotionally unavailable, uh, probably, but you know, her girlfriend would not have married her or wait, her girlfriend would not be with her if she weren't equally emotionally unavailable. That's how it works. You think you're emotionally available, but you pick someone who's emotionally unavailable and the intimacy gap remains here. Then you say, screw that. I wanna be with someone who's emotionally available. You pick a person who's emotionally available, you are unemotionally available. I'm still procrastinating painting. Let's do this. Wow, it'd be really nice if I had my colors mixed already. I don't. I don't know what I was doing all day. I was, you know what I was doing? I was tapping. I was going to try to like calm myself down. It did not work. Plus I stopped smoking cigarettes yesterday. Let's see. So I need this rust color. Now, like I, can you see me? Oh crap, sorry. So like I showed the people who were here last time, ah, I have my collection of colors that I like. These are my, I don't understand when you guys say, sent a request to be in your live video. What does that mean, Angie? Does that mean, I have, do, I, do I have to respond to that? Or does that mean you're gonna be in it? I don't understand. Do I press view? I hope I don't mess something up. Okay, I don't understand what's happening there. Um, these are my colors that I like. So I have them on the ready. Uh, oh, I don't know. Okay, well you're here. You're here now. That's great. Glad you're here. I know, it's embarrassing even being on that end, huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I'm trying to find the colors, okay? <sighs> I'm getting the colors that are sort of in the vicinity of the rusty color. And I'll put my colors down. Oh my god, I'm getting hot. Whew! <sighs> and itchy. All right, come on, Kate. Focus. When I'm painting by myself 
everything you see happening right now is going on. It's just, I'm like this. Nothing of it is out loud. I realized that it's not that I'm more uncomfortable like being live on Instagram. It's just my normal discomfort is visible. It's kind of a relief, right? It's not like I'm being, well, I don't know if that's a relief or not. Getting my almighty palette knife, I watch some, I watch some Bob Ross videos and he calls things almighty a lot, which is nice. So, I don't know if it's nice. It's, it's his painting is his religion. I have my almighty palette knife and I'm gonna mix up a little colors for the background behind Olympia. Going for, ooh, Jesus. I, you know what, I'm gonna totally mess up this painting because I can't really focus on painting and teaching, painting at the same time. I keep forgetting I'm teaching. So what you need to do is, if you're gonna copy Manet's Olympia, so you need to figure out what things you're going to include and what things you're going to interpret and what things you're going to invent. Um, I am including the backgrounds for the, the colors of the backgrounds. I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of, can you see what I'm doing? Where's the, oh, what happened? Dang, I lost the, I thought I had, what the hell? Sorry, everything's messed up. What happened? I thought I had my palette visible for you. Ah, oh, that's okay, mirror image. Eh. Okay. Hmm. Are you saying barely on with the show? Don't give me negative feedback right now. I can't take it. Only say good things. Hey. Gonna do some. Look what I just did. This is interesting because I'm kind of distracted and don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of doing different things. I oh, you're seeing a lot of the upper wall. You're right. What? Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, did I say thank you? Thank you. There we go. I didn't put my phone back in properly. Okay. Yes. Wow. Thank you. So what I did is I mix, I put three different colors that were kind of the colors I want on my palette. And, and I feel like I also need something a little darker because I'm kind of going for that vibe. You can't see it at all, can you? Well, look it up. Google it. Okay. I'm scared. That's what I meant by barely. Okay. Okay. Got you. Um, I'm using a brush from Home Depot. Oops! I didn't buy it at Home Depot! I bought it at a mom and pop hardware store. It's a chip brush, real cheap brush, and I cut it off so it's a little stiffer. So it's basically art brush. And fuck it, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. And I don't know if it's right, I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, I'm gonna ruin my painting. I don't even like these colors. Well, maybe I will. Eh. Eh. People say, what, it doesn't matter, you can always paint over it. No, I can't, not the way I do it. This is how I set myself up for stress and, and worry, is I can't, if I'm gonna redo, if I paint over it, like I said, I have to repaint the entire background. I used to do that. Hey, look, I do have this though, look. So, here we go. Oh, you're so far away. Well, oh well. One of these days when I have my camera person, you'll get to see what I'm doing up close. Don't mess it up. Just do it. Just. I'm going to use my Ujjayi breath. 
and clear my mind while I make these brush strokes so that my life force is embedded in the brush strokes, okay? Paralyzed by fear. Here I go. show you up close what I'm doing or is this good enough? Say close or good. Close or good? No opinion? No opinion. Okay. Well, you guys are easy. Close up! Thanks! Let's see. Oh, okay, of course, everybody's got a different opinion. Well, Jaina spoke first. So, sorry, here we go. My issue right now is I like the color, I like how it looks, I like how I got a bunch of different colors in within each brush stroke. That's cool, kind of gives you a similar feeling of that, right? Kind of does. Um, but what do I do here? Look at how cool, like, I love this whole area, even though her leg is, he, okay, thanks, Alex. Even though her leg looks like it was gnawed off, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like somebody who can't draw, drew it. Um, I don't know if I, like, I like that area. I just like the whole thing. So how do I transition from this background? Do I just cover it up and then redo it? Maybe I, maybe I, no, I don't want to do that. I'll never get it the same. See, I should have had this background in first. I wasn't thinking ahead because I was doing a show. So crap. Uh, oh boy, you guys, this is real rough. This is real tough. This is a real issue. I'm gonna leave it just like a weird end. Okay? I guess I could do that. Sometimes I don't know like how to transition from one thing to another in a painting. Like, ah! Stop looking. Hold on, we're getting it. Just hold on. Hold on. Just a minute. We do need a camera person. If somebody wants to get in on the ground floor of this empire that we're about to build with how do you paint, let me know. Okay. Did you know Bob Ross died of cancer at like age 52? I'm already 47, so we need to get on it. Oh yeah, I have a hard time knowing like how to transition between things in a painting and maybe there doesn't need to be a transition. Maybe it can just be like, that's where the background ends. And that's it. I have a lot of darks already mixed up. This is what you should do. This is what you do if you wanna paint like me, is have a bunch of darks, blacks mixed up already so you don't use pure black. Because I used to use pure black, and it does make things look a little more cartoony than I want them to. Because things already look cartoony because I'm not a great drawer. Mm. So, I have a reddish black mixed up, a bluish black, a brownish black, and that's it. I'm using my reddish black now. Mixed with it's red and black mixed together to do just a little more 
on the background behind Olympia's head. It gets a lot darker back behind her head. So I'm going to continue this, uh, what I'm doing with this background. <laughs> I even need more. I even need more paint. Okay. Hey, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. It would give me stuff to talk about. And it might be informative. I mean, since this is supposed to be a How Do You Paint show. Wow, I'm really far away. Need that camera person. All right. So, I don't know. I have a lot of vertical up and downs going. I mean, the bed and her body, super horizontal. So, maybe it's okay to have all these vertical up and downs. I mean, I even have this background thing that looks like this tidal wave of history crashing in upon us. That's how I interpret it. That's what it means to me. Um, I wonder if I should make the directions. I don't know. Sometimes you make a decision formally because it just like compositionally or balance wise looks good. And sometimes it's like meaning thing, you know, where it's like, hey, I want this to give the feeling since that thing means history crashing in, I want to put a barrier up to um, not be ruled by it, so I will do horizontal lines. I wonder if other people think like that when they're painting. No? Nobody, got a, nobody says? Uh, I think I'm going to do some scribbles. Some scribbles. You know what I should do? I should do these X marks. X! Stay back! Because the wallpaper has X marks too. But the tricky thing is, is this is like something I usually do by myself because it takes a really a lot of concentration to do wallpaper and patterns and things if you're trying to make it look semi-realistic. Semi but I'm gonna, I'm gonna welcome you into this. And I'm going to try to just kind of loosely indicate these, um, these X's in the wallpaper over top the paint that I just laid down for the background while it's wet. I'm using acrylic, you know, so it's like, dries fast. So, I've got to do it now. It's now or never. What did I say that was so funny that made you cry laughing, Jaina? I don't even know. Okay. Oh boy. Just trust. Trust that you can do this and it will be okay. I'm just going to clear my mind and paint what I see while doing Unjai breath. Hope I'm saying that right. this up close, wouldn't it? Again, camera person could really use a... So what I'm seeing here looks like trails of dog poop. 
This is what happens when your mind forgets the name of the thing you're looking at. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Who wrote who wrote that art thing, that art text? So it's like you're you like forget it, forgetting the name of the thing you're looking at. That's what painting is. Everything I'm doing right now looks like trails of dog poop. I forgot that I'm looking at wallpaper and now I'm just painting dog poop. Like when a dog <laughs> like when the dog doesn't want to stop playing and it just keeps running and poop is dropping out of it. of unneeded perfectionism. I'm allowing myself to be imperfect, allowing, you know, I have these like really like irrelevant criteria I th sometimes when I'm painting, like probably just because, I don't know, it's conditioning, like, oh, that doesn't look um, proportional. Like, why would that bother me at this point in life? Uh, I don't know, it does. So I'm making myself not fix, like, fix things that are wrong. Applies to myself as well. Wow. Wow. What if I could just live <laughs> with nothing being wrong with me? What would that be? Can you imagine? Okay, I don't know what I just did. <sighs> ah. So I have to go get a container to put my extra paint in because I'm a stickler for not wasting paint. One sec. containers on hand and it's nice because if you mix up a color then you you have it later as a starter like sourdough starter in a way so that oh bye Angie are you leaving bye is that what that wave means bye is it boring maybe it's boring I won't take people leaving as a sign that it's boring. Maybe people just have things to do. Maybe, maybe it's okay if it's boring. People are supposed to be in and out. Yeah, Angie is gone, never to return. Who are you? Do you know Angie? No, I'm saying hi to my girlfriend. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Phew. Pandemic issues were activated. Okay. Hi, the fool's errand. I'm <laughs> never better. Angie, stop stalking people on my Instagram live video. Please. Sorry, I'm using your real name. Maybe that's a 
faux pas. Mm. All right. You guys want to see a close up? Okay. I think we can do this, like pick it up and do close ups, right? Until I get a camera person. Come on, man. All right. So there's the wallpaper. I don't know. <sighs> right? That's what I did. That's the dog poop, trails of dog poop dog wallpaper. This is the weird ending between her and green, beginning of green to her. Now, we're going to deal with this line. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you. Hi, Eric. I don't know about this live stuff because, you know, there's real continuity happening here. Like, if you just join, you don't know everywhere we've all been. What? Why do you say what? What? What happened? What's happening? Why do you say what like that, Jaina? Huh? Tell me if I need to know something. So what I was going to do, my brainstorm in the last uh, show was I am going to do, oh, I already told you this. Remember that time you were like, what am I going to do? You were going to tell us something and then didn't answer. What was I going to tell you? You mean about the painting? Maybe I'm about to tell you. I hope so. I'm losing it. Give me a moment. <sighs> ah, I'm there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a crazy thing. I'm gonna do a spray paint line down the middle of the canvas. And hopefully this is what I was going to tell you, was my revelation that I was going to um, do the split screen. <laughs> Classic gate. <laughs> I'm going to do the, I'm going to do a split screen. I'm going to turn that line into a split screen. Let's just stop talking about it and do it! And I'm going to use spray paint, because that's what flashed upon me in my vision. It was like, spray paint. So I have... Do I have my spray paint handy? Ah, sorry, not trying to abandon you. Just a minute. Ah, I see my spray paint in the background. I'm going to go get it. And I have to turn on the ventilation fan because I'm probably not supposed to do this inside. Shh. Just between us. But I'm going to turn on the ventilation fan and I'm going to open the window. But I have to do it right now because it's just the time. So... Don't worry, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey, I'm still here. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Do I do... Do I do... Eh, okay, well, Fool's Aaron says it's okay. Do I do gold? Or do I do sort of a lemon yellow? I'm going to do gold. I'm going to open the window real quick because it's like sucking all the air out of here and creating a vacuum and I can feel like my brain getting sucked out my ears. One sec.
I'm just going to empty my mind, ask while looking at the painting, and see what comes. ridiculous. I'm hot. I feel weird taking off my sweater. I do have something underneath. That's, ah, yeah. <laughs> I do have a shirt on, but I'm hot, but I feel weird taking off. Let me go aside. Do you, do, do you switch yellows? No, I use the gold yellow. Do, or do I switch yellows? What does that mean? Like, in an ongoing way, do I switch yellows? Hey, Rare Org, Roswell Artist and Residence Program here among us. Best year of my life. Best year of my entire life, I think. I wish I could go back there, but you know what? If I did, it wouldn't be the same because I'd hope for it to be the best year of my life and then I'd go back and it would just be like every other year. So hi, R Rare, Roswell Artists and Residence Program. All right, so I did that, did that. I guess it's time to work on Olympia's face, eh? I mean, she is the subject of the painting, supposedly, so... Now that I've done the background around her back of her, what time is it? Okay, 12.45. Now I am going to do her face. Let me figure out what color I'm gonna use. Again, I just look around at the colors I already have mixed. 
and say, yeah, this will do. This will work. Because I believe there's, I believe the, there's magical forces communicating with me and it's all, time is like all happening all at once. And all these colors that I mixed earlier were for this moment. Actually, hmm. Wow. Wow. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just do a swipe of color on her face, and then I'm gonna draw in her features, like her eyes and her nose and her mouth. Ew. <laughs> I just wipe my brush on my underwear rag and then wipe my nose on my underwear. Breaking taboos. All right. So what I've been, what I do now that I don't just draw stuff and color it in like I used to is I colored in with multiple colors at once on one brush. Real painting, this is something you can do, right? This is how you paint. You, pit, you get some color in your brush, Olympia's face color, and then you say, I'm gonna get a little of this white on my brush. So I have a little, a little white and a little, and a little peach. And then I go, and it looks like gradations and stuff. Ah, I just had an idea. Since Olympia is like the only horizontal thing in this whole painting, and there's all these verticals, I'm gonna do her face horizontal, right? Makes sense. The logic of a painting is real and must not be ignored. have enough white to be making much of a difference here. Hello? Can we get some gradations? Yep. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. All right. I think I'm just going to keep going. I think I should just keep going on her body, maybe. The crazy thing about her is, like, there's hardly any shadows. There's hardly any you know, this, this painting was very, was roundly criticized in the, in, uh, the day. I'm horrible at dates in history. I don't know. I couldn't tell you when this was painted. Seriously, that's how ignorant I am about dates. It has to do with math. I can't remember numbers. 1850, maybe? I don't know. When was this painting painted? 1850? I don't know. Who knows? I didn't go to art school. I just make myself look smart by, I don't know if I do that. I just make myself look educated by um, picking some paintings out of the book and painting them. <laughs> so, losing the thread. Uh, oh yeah, she didn't have very many, he, he didn't paint her with any sort of modeling or uh, shadows or Still, it's better than I could do, but um, I attempt to try to paint somewhat naturalistically at times. Uh, acrylic, Eric, acrylic. I quit oil. I tried going back to oil like a month ago, and it was like, oh, that's why I broke up with this shit. <sighs> Never need to revisit that again. I don't like painting in oil. It's way too... Slow and messy and uh, messy. It's messy. So anyway, I don't know. I'm gonna just paint some. I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going. I'm just going. You know what though? Here's the thing. You know all this green on this side of the painting. And there's no green on this side. You know what I'm... Oh, well, there's going to be a little green up in the upper left-hand corner, which you can't see, because uh, I don't have a camera person. But, um... 
I'm gonna put a little green in her body, in her flesh. I'm gonna like add a tinge of tinge of green because this will help her look more integrated in this painting. And people said that she looked like um, a corpse back in the day, again, whatever year that was. So I got a little green on my brush and I placed it on the edge of the brush where I know her, the edge of her skin, edge of her body is gonna be. See, you think this is just like spontaneous and careless and free. It's, it's completely all planned out to just look that way. I'm actually a real control freak. Thanks, 10 minute warning. Thank you. Last time I didn't realize what was happening. I saw these numbers counting on the phone. It was like, what are those numbers? And then, and then it was over and there was no ending to the show. So I won't do that again this time. So here we go. It's okay. Other, other notifications are coming at me. Confusing. Ah, let's do this. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Get those muscles right. Yeah. Get that musculature right. Don't be bad at this. <laughs> Why not stream on like Twitch? We got to talk later because I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> oh, kids these days. Why don't you stream on Twitch? <laughs> I don't know what that means. That, that, that is like, that is like, what's that word? Uh, God will be gook to me. Stream on Twitch. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm doing this right because I can't, I can't, I don't have my inner world available to me right now. I don't have my inner world available to me right now that tells me things. <laughs> Maybe that's good, actually. Maybe just like, not be self-conscious. Under boob, under boob shadow. Let's do the under boob shadow. A little red and green under boob shadow. La la meow la mao. I know what that means. Laughing my ass off. I knew that. La mao la la mao. Twitch TV is a streaming platform. Okay. Well, tell you what. Why am I painting this so elegantly? My brush strokes are very elegant. Maybe that's good. Since her body is so deformed. Whoa, crazy pointy nipple. I don't know how that happened. I'm not, I don't know though. You guys, people, you peoples, you peoples. You fellow human beings, I must tell you something. I have to show you something up close about what I'm thinking. So let you inside my brain, my mind, my eyes. So... What the hell am I doing with these sort of like Dana Schutz, like, ooh, confident, long brush strokes? That's not my thing. Uh, that's not the way I should be. Look at that boob, though. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I like how it's like pointing directionally in the dog poop lines. Ooh, see, this is the kind of thing that makes it be like, The universe is painting this with me. I keep forgetting to look at the camera because her boob shape, the zigzag shape, is like the same as those. So that means it was meant to be that way. No mistakes. Yeah, I'm not totally sure about the way I'm painting. I think I'll, I won't do any more of those brush strokes. 
Like, let's just see if we have a few and then do messy ones the rest of it. Let me see. I wonder I can, if I can be my own camera person. I, I, I do everything else for myself. Um, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Like, if I just film myself painting. Whoa. I don't know. It's hard. Yowza. What? Yeah, I can't do that. That's too much. Sorry. You go back on the tripod. Shannon! Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say people's real names. Cell Flash. Hi. Hi, my friends. I'm teaching people how to paint. <laughs> Jaina, I really like your um, laughing feedback when I don't know what, uh, what, what, what you're laughing at. I wish I knew, because then I could do it again. <laughs> yeah, eh. Hmm. I don't feel confident enough to paint, to embark on painting Olivia's body right now. I'm not feeling, like, grounded enough. And I feel like I need to be in a good place when there's a delay. Why? What? Hi, Claudia. Why is there a delay? It's not, I know I'm not delaying. Hopefully it'll fix itself. I'm just, I'm just saving some of this color this is ridiculous. I like, look at you guys. Am I really gonna save that much paint? Am I gonna save that much paint in this big container? <laughs> Bubby. I'm wow, you're watching me. I'm being watched. I think that's silly to save that much paint. That's just neurotic. I need to use it on something. <laughs> what do I put it on? Maybe this is where I just go crazy on my painting and smear it. Okay. Rah! Rah! I just went crazy on my painting. Eh. Yeah, I just went crazy. So I, I just did that. I need some water. Let's see what time is it. Okay. Oh my God! We're only have two minutes left. Okay, so keep it. Ah! True lizard queen, don't tell me that now. It's gone. Just rub it anywhere. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right, we are like, we got like only two minutes left now. So I'm gonna just start wrapping this up and say, we're gonna be here back here, back here, uh, um, painting on this painting next Wednesday at noon. And I really also need to get my, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna try to spend time like getting it so you can watch these when it's not live. I don't think so. So anyway, next time, it's been fab. Oh, thanks, I'm glad you were here for the whole time, Alex. That's amazing. You really hung in there with me. Thanks, buddy. Mm. I'm gonna work on this alone, um, by myself, without people watching, uh, in between now and next Wednesday. And um, I'm probably gonna need some help when I'm working on it next time. Some feedbacks, some positive reinforcement. And, okay, I didn't time that ending well. I mean, now, let's see. What time is it now? <laughs> okay, 26, 25, 24. Thanks for joining me on How Do You Paint with Kate White. This is gonna be an ongoing series based out of Mills College. I am an art process ideas artist in residence. Come back next Wednesday. We'll do some more. Two, one.